Hi, this is the Prodigal Fish, and this is my playthrough of Spec Ops The Line. It's a pretty fun game. It shows what the difference of when following orders it just crosses the line. I'll be playing the part as the character's uh, thoughts, the parts that you won't hear in the game, and I'll be talking by subtitles. So, hope you enjoy it. at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. Is John Conrad the greatest man I ever served with? Well, I don't know. There was this one time in Kabul when he dragged my bleeding carcass half a mile to an evac chopper. So maybe I'm biased. But the facts don't lie. The man's a hero. Remember when the first storms hit Dubai? You're probably all safe and sound at home watching TV. Well, Conrad was leading the damn 33rd out of Afghanistan. Instead of coming home, he volunteered his entire battalion to help with the evac. Yet all you did was send a check. Rumor is Conrad was ordered to abandon the city. He defied that order, and the 33rd stood with him. Now, the official story's still hazy, but what happened next? All we know for sure is that the storms got worse. Much worse. Last thing we heard out of Dubai was that Conrad was leading a caravan of survivors out of the city. That was six months ago. Then, two weeks ago, we picked up this transmission. This is Colonel John Conrad, United States Army. Has been evacuation of Dubai. It is a complete failure. Death toll. Too many. Hey, Cap. Captain Walker. What is it, Luger? Got a situation, sir. Mission critical? No, sir. And take it up the chain, Sergeant. Roger that. Lieutenant Adams, 
I hear you, Sergeant. What's your status? Status is chafed, sir. You say chafed, Sergeant? Yes, sir. A local airborne insurgency has infiltrated the U.S. zone designated as my pants. Sir. <laughs> Shut up, jackass. Gentlemen, welcome to Dubai. Yep. It's still dead. <laughs> Yet to be seen, Sergeant. You got a lock on that transmission? Yes, sir. About 800 yards away. And we're 800 yards away from seeing who's more full of shit. You or Intel. Wow. If I wasn't a hardened killing machine, I might have hurt. <laughs>